Welcome to Jess Production and today we're going to be looking at the solutions of Mathematics Past Paper 1 of 2017. But before we go any further, I just want to tell you that we are selling some books and these are soft copies. And there are two types of books that we are selling. We have understanding books and high school books. For understanding books, we have biology grade 10, chemistry grade 11, accounts grade 10, in science grade 8 and these books can only get them at 10 kwacha per copy and that's soft copy and for high school books we have chemistry grade 12 physics grade 10 physics grade 11 and physics grade 12 and you can get these books at 10 kwacha and that's a soft copy so make sure you buy a copy and as you buy a soft, uh, a soft copy you're going to be supporting this production so let's get straight into the question the first question reads simplify 3x minus open bracket y minus 2x cross bracket minus 3y to max so the first thing that i'm going to do straight down that question so it is 3x minus uh, 3x minus open bracket y minus 2x cross bracket minus 3y and for me to simplify this uh, expression the first thing that I'm going to do is to open up the brackets so I'm going to say 3x to open up the brackets I'll multiply this negative by everything that is in the brackets so negative multiplied by y that's negative y then negative multiplied by negative 2x that would be positive 2x minus 3y then I'm going to collect the like terms. So I have 3x plus 2x. Then I also have negative y minus 3y. 3x plus 2x, that's 5x. Then negative y minus 3y, that's... Uh, that's negative 4y. So I have 5x minus 4y. So this is my answer. And I'm going to write it down here. 5x minus 4y. So that's how you can simplify that expression. Let us go to the second question. So the second question reads, evaluate open bracket 81 divided by 16 cross bracket to the power negative one over four plus open bracket 81 divided by 16 cross bracket to the power zero. So I need to evaluate this. So I'm going to write down the original expression or the original question so this is 8 1 divided by 16 to the power negative 1 divided by 4 plus 8 1 divided by 16 to the power 0 so as this, as you can see here i have 8 1 divided by 16 and here it is to the power negative 1 divided by 4. So h1 can be broken down. So I can say 3 to the power 4 divided by, and 16 can be broken down by saying 2 to the power 4. Then this is to the power negative 1 divided by 4 plus 
Then 81 divided by 16 to the power 0, that's 1. So this expression can be written in this form. So this will be 3 divided by 2 to the power 4 multiplied by negative 1 divided by 4. And the 4 here and the 4 can cancel out. Then here I know that this is plus 1. So this means I have 3 divided by 2 to the power negative 1. So I'm going to write it this side. So this is 3 to the power uh, 3 divided by 2 to the power negative 1 plus 1. And if uh, this is to the power negative 1, this is the same as 2 over 3 plus 1. So to evaluate this, I'll say divide by 1. And I'm going to find the lowest common denominator. And the lowest common denominator of 3 and 1, that's 3. So 3 into 3, that's 1. Multiplied by 2, that's 2. Plus 1 into 3, that's 3. Multiplied by 1, that's 3. So 2 plus 3 is equal to 5 divided by 3. Then 5 divided by 3, that's 1. Remainder, 2 divided by 3. So my answer is 1, 2 over 3. Let's go to the third question. The third question reads, the gradient of the line joining the points, open bracket, negative 2, comma, k, cross bracket, and open bracket, k, comma, negative 14, cross bracket, is 2. Calculate the value of k. So, in this question, the gradient we have been given, and we have been given the two points. So, the first thing is to write the two points. Or the two coordinates so of negative 2 comma k and k comma negative 14 and we have been giv given the gradient as 2 so m is equal to 2 and from these points let us identify the x1 and the y1 and the x2 and the y2 so we can say this is my x1 this is my y1 this is my x2 and this is my y2. And we know that the formula of gradient, we say gradient is equal to y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. And the gradient, we know that that's 2. So we're going to say 2 is equal to y2. That's negative 14. So negative 14. minus y1 that's k then my x2 my x2 that's k minus my y1 that's negative 2 so i'll put my negative 2 into the brackets so here i can say 2 is equal to negative 14 minus k divided by, to open the brackets, I'll say negative multiplied by negative there. So I have k plus 2. So I'll say divide by 1 here, then I'll cross multiply. And if I cross multiply, I'll say 2 open bracket k plus 2 is equal to negative 14 minus k. So to open the, up the brackets, I'm going to multiply 2 by everything inside the brackets. So I'm going to have 2k plus 4 is equal to negative 14 minus k. Then at this point, I can 
correct correct the like terms at that point i can collect the like terms so i have a uh, 2k when the negative k goes to the other side it to be a positive so it will be positive k is equal to then this side I have negative 14 and when uh, positive 4 goes to the other side it will be a negative so negative 4 and here I know that I have uh, 2k plus k that is going to be 3k is equal to negative 14 uh, negative 14 and negative for I'm having negative 18 so to find the value of k I will divide by 3 here and 3 there so the 3 and the 3 will cancel so k is equal to negative 18 divided by 3 that's negative 6 so the value of k is negative 6 let us look at question 4 Question 4 reads, factorize completely ax squared y minus 4ay to the power 3. So this is in this form, ax squared y minus 4ay to the power 3. So the first thing that I'm going to do is to identify uh, the letters or the numbers that are common in both. So the letters that are common, I have A and Y. So I'll say AY, open bracket, AY into AY squared Y. I'm going to have uh, X squared minus, then AY into 4AY the power 3 I'm going to have 4y squared then I have a y open bracket so this is x squared minus and 4 can be changed into a squared so it, this can be written as 2 squared y squared and I know that the terms that are inside the bracket can be can be written in the difference of two squares so this is going to be a y open uh, I'm going to open up the bracket I'm going to open another bracket then I'll say x minus 2 y I'm going to cross that bracket then I'm going to open another bracket then I'll say x minus 2 uh, x plus 2y I'm going to close that bracket and I'm going to close another bracket so this is my answer and I'm going to write it down here so this is a y so this is my answer let us look at question 5. Question 5 reads, the points P and Q have coordinates 2,4 and negative 3,1 respectively. Express vector PQ as a column vector. So the first thing here I'm going to do is to identify the different vectors. So vector O, P, vector O, P have been given as 2, 4, and vector O, Q have been given as negative 3, 1. 
and I'm being told to calculate vector P PQ. So I don't know vector PQ. So to find vector PQ, I'll say vector PQ is equal to vector OQ minus vector OP. So this is the formula that you need to know. And I'll say vector PQ is equal to vector OQ. The vector OQ is uh, negative 3, 1. So this is negative 3, 1 minus vector OP, that's 2, 4. So my vector PQ is equal to negative 3 minus 2, that's negative 5. Then 1 minus 3, that's negative 3. So this is my answer. So these are the solutions from question 1 to question 5. Next time we are going to proceed, we are going to look at question 6 to question 10. Remember that this program has been brought to you by Joswali, promoting free education around Zambia. I'll meet you next time. Peace.